Alright, we're going to continue looking at vocabulary and geometry. However, this time we're going to be looking at some defined terms. So what do I mean when I say a defined term? Well, a defined term are terms in geometry that we include, that include a category, but they also have a list of critical attributes. So they have to have these two things in order to be a defined term, a category and a uh, list of critical attributes. So I've got two examples here. The first one here we have space. Space. Its definition is it's a set of points, boundless and three-dimensional. So it has two things in its definition. The first thing it says is it's a set of points. This is what we consider the category or its classification. The next thing it says is it's boundless and it's three-dimensional. This is what we call the critical attributes. Another example would be something like collinear. The definition of collinear is it's a set of points that lie on the same line. So notice there's two parts here. The first part that says it's a set of points. Once again, this is what we call the category or its classification. The second part says that it lies on the same line. This is what we call the critical attributes. So again, it's a set of points that lie on the same line. So if I had a line here, and I had two points on that line, we would call these two points collinear because they're on the same line. Remember, we use capital letters for points. So I would have capital A and point capital B. So these two points would be collinear. They lay on the same line. I could have a third point. That would also be collinear. The next defined term we have is non-collinear, and its definition is it's a set of points that do not all lie on the same line. So once again, there's two parts to this definition. The first part, the category is, it's a set of points. The critical uh, attributes is that they do not all lie on the same line. So if I had a line, and I had point A, and I had point B, these would be considered non-collinear. They do not lie on the same line. The next defined term we have is coplanar, and its definition is it's a set of points or lines that lie on the same coordinate plane. So again, there's two parts of this definition. The category is this is, it's a set of points or lines the critical attributes are that they, they, they lie in the same plane. So an example of coplanar. If this is our plane, and we have three points, point A, point B, point C. All three of these points are on that same plane, so we would call these coplanar. Likewise, if I had this plane here, and I had two lines, one here and another here, these two lines, because they're on that same plane, we would call these coplanar. So again, coplanar means it's a set of points or lines that lie on the same plane. Next term we have is just the opposite of coplanar. We have non-coplanar. And its definition is it's a set of points or lines that do not lie on the same plane. So again, this is just the opposite of coplanar. This time it does not lie on the same plane. So remember, there's still two parts here. The set of points or, line, or lines is the category. And they do not lie on the same plane would be the critical attributes. So once again, let me give you an example here. If this is our plane, and I had point A, I had point B, and then I have point C out here. Now, point A and point B would be coplanar because they are on the same plane. However, point A and point C would be non-coplanar. These two points are not on the same plane. I'll give you another example here. If I had this plane and I had a line and maybe a line down here, these two lines would be non-coplanar. We got one line that's on the plane and we got another line that is off the plane. Therefore, they do not lie on the same plane, so we would call these non-coplanar. Okay, the next defined term we have is skew lines, and these are two non-coplanar lines that do not 
intersect. So once again, there's still two parts to this uh, definition. It says there's two non-coplanar lines. That's the category. Do not intersect. That's the critical attribute. All right, so this one's going to be a little tougher to demonstrate, but I'm going to give it a shot here. If I have one plane, and I'm going to go ahead and do that with a dotted lines here, and I had a line on this plane. So here's my line on that first plane. Then I had a different plane, maybe something like this here. And I had a line on that one as well. These two lines would not intersect each other. Remember, they're on different planes. Therefore, even, even if I were to extend these two lines, they would not intersect each other. And therefore, we call these skew lines. So again, there are two non-coplanar lines that do not intersect. The last defined term we have is parallel lines. Now, I think most of us are familiar with parallel lines. These are two coplanar lines that do not intersect each other. Now, this time, unlike the last example we looked at, they are going to be on the same plane. It says that they're coplanar, so they're on the same plane. So I'm going to go ahead and draw myself a plane here. This is the plane. If I have two lines on this plane, so I'll draw one here and another here. These two lines, because they do not intersect and they're both on that same plane, we would call these parallel lines. So remember, there's going to be a difference between parallel lines and skew lines. Parallel lines and skew lines don't intersect each other. The difference is parallel lines are on the same plane. Skew lines are not on the same plane. They're non-coplanar 